I'd love to kind of start this off big picture here. As we're getting into earnings season, we're seeing a bit of tug of war right now, of course, with inflation and deflation. On the whole, how are you feeling about costs as we kick off the new year? You know, we feel great as we look towards 2024. We've seen a stabilization of our business relative to the last three and a half years where we've gone through, obviously, a global pandemic, um, some, some conflict across the world, and then hyperinflation. So we feel like we are in a great position right now to take advantage of a stabilized environment. The co consumer has shown to be very resilient. Uh, you know, we just announced our fourth year uh, sports straight year of same store sales growth. So we're we're really well positioned. I think our industry is well positioned. Our value equation has never been better relative to the other segments of the industry. Pizza has um, continued to hold on pricing where a lot of other segments have taken a lot of pricing over the last couple of years. So um, mm -hmm. we're really well set up for, for 2024 and beyond. And then to build on those comments on costs, you just, of course, made this significant announcement as part of that Back to Better 2.0 plan, shifting franchisee spend to focus more on national versus local advertising. Explain to viewers why you made this shift and ultimately what it means for your owners. You know, we're a scaled concept. We've got uh, distribution. We've got restaurants in every market in the United States. And national media tends to be more efficient, more productive. We're one of the last holdouts on a, on a more localized model. So we made that transition. We made it with the support of our franchisee base, who overwhelmingly voted to move to this model. Uh, we also just completed a couple new agency reviews that we think is going to optimize our national media, both from a creative and a media standpoint. So uh, we really think that we're going to drive a lot more productivity from our national marketing platform. Rob, uh, Tyler here, if I could ask a couple of questions. First is, is your sales growth, which is up uh, 2 or 3 percent, depending on what the measures are, uh, which measure you point to, is that sales growth because you've added more stores, because you've raised prices, or if you looked at a unit sales or a same store sales basis, would your, would your sales also still be up? Yeah, I'd say it, it, it's all three. As I mentioned earlier, we have held on pricing relative to a lot of other players in our industry. Mm -hmm. So the disproportionate amount of our growth has come from improved mix. We're trading customers up to more premium pizzas. We're getting them to add things like papadillas and papa bites onto their typical traditional pizza-only mm -hmm. orders. So that's driving some, sale, some, some dollar sales growth. But we've also built more restaurants. The last few years, we've had uh, success opening new restaurants across the U.S. and internationally. And then lastly, you know, we have been able to grow safe sale, same store sales comps uh, consistently. The only one to do it the last four years have positive sales store sale comps.